on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Hey, 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 guys. Check it, man. It's your boy, ECEO, man. Tapping in with all of my people, man. It's so nice to, you know, get back to the solo, getting you guys informed on everything that we've done in 2023. Man, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. I know Miss Jamaica been totally on you guys about membership subscribing to the membership and you guys have done it we've seen so many different people come in show us so much love when it comes down to the membership so i just want to say thank you guys also i want to set just really set the record straight man on what we went after this year this year was so dope because this was the second year at the end of the year we went over a hundred thousand subscribers this year looks like we're about uh, 72, 172, 173,000 subscribers. So we did 73,000. It's a little bit under what I wanted. I wanted 100,000. Uh, this year I wanted to be at 200,000. We're almost there. We just have to keep banging away at it, man. I just want to say thank you, everybody that's been following us. Like and subscribe to the channel, man. But top of the year, man, was so live, man. We had so such a good time. When, when you think of the people that we sit down with, and we were so, you know, happy to get with the people who love Boss Talk 101. Starting the year off, man, I was so excited when we was able to sit down with Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker gave us all type of things that was going on. Some of the most exclusive content. Back during that time, I can remember Master P and Lil Romeo having their issues. And he kind of expounded on that. And I think that was just something that our people needed to hear because you hadn't heard from a family member uh, except for Master P and Lil Romeo, or Romeo, we don't call him Lil no more. But at any rate, you, you've seen what was really going down when it uh, when everything uh, started to unfold. Silk, Silk the Shocker was very, very dope in answering that question. And just being a, a, a real cool brother that was trying to keep the peace with family members and basically saying he wouldn't have even never done it in public at the end of the day. Um, I keep it consistent, so at the end of the day, they're going to have to respect it because it's consistency. It's like, I don't say nothing, you know, we family, so I don't say nothing about nobody publicly. So I'm not going to come out and condemn you or condemn you. I think if we was just talking to each other, then I'll be like, you wrong and you wrong. Which is how it's supposed to But just love those guys, man. Shout out to the Miller family, man. Shout out to Master P. I know you guys rock with Boss Talk 101. It's just been a live, live live introduction when it comes down to what we do so thank you guys man and shout out to big court who always hold us down who always get me certain interviews man and just always rocking out with us what but i did have the dream of music and see i signed with p i got with no limit in 95 yeah so i graduated high school in 94 whoa mm, that you know was what i mean you were what, 18? Wait yeah a minute. i was 18 five what song what rap what what was p uh, what was he no doing? that was right that was i signed with p right when 99 ways to die came out so i just want to say thank you to him and he went over 100,000 subscribers as well Thanks for the big shout out, man. You guys are live. You know already it's big love between us, man, when it comes down to what we do, man. So, hey, man, family, always. But the next interview, we went up to New Jersey. So we was in L.A. at that time. And we, we interviewed a lot more people as well. And if I didn't call your name, doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the interview. Doesn't mean we didn't do our thing. We did great, great interviews out there. But I'm just speaking on a few of them. We went down to New Jersey after that. We sat down with... Um, Ice tea. This probably this is one of them ones, man, that you you just don't it don't it don't happen all the time. So man, thank you so much for inviting us into your home, man. Definitely, definitely. You know, Kenny said uh I want to get boss talk over there to the crib, you know, because we wanted to do promotion for the book. Man. And uh I said, well, you know, we could do it at my house. So uh, you know, you guys were invited. Then come to find out you're friends with my man, Big Court. Man, holding court. So it's love, it's love. You know, I, like I told you, uh, as you were setting up, I kind of try to pick and choose a lot of these podcasts out of control, you know. So I'm happy to be here with you. And I'm going I'm to, you know, tell you what you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> we sit down with Ice-T, man. We talked about so many different variables, all of the different movies, all of the different things that he done uh, uh, in Law and Order. Guest running. <laughs> Actor. Over 500 episodes. I'm the um, longest running actor. Right. The in, longest running actor in television, in television history. history. But Mariska is the longest running actress. Olivia, I, I call her Olivia. Olivia 
They she started. She's got maybe twenty five episodes right. on me. That's what I was trying to figure but out. As, how many as episodes? As a male, I'm the longest running. Okay, okay, okay. Just just a dope interview, man. This guy, man, he showed us the utmost respect. He we we actually did the interview in his home. He just showed us love, and I just want to say thank you to Ice T, man. I hope you're enjoying your uh, your end of the year, your New Year's, your holidays. You guys all should be enjoying holidays right now. Um, so Ice T was so dope, man. It was so, and literally, we was in New Jersey, we was in New York, we had a great time, we killed it, and I just want to say, man, everybody that came on those interviews as well, shout out to Pimp and Ken, shout out to HHF. You know what they did? I'm pimp this, I'm pimp that. They tried to take, they tried to what, take what I created, created and say that it was them. So, you know, you see this, you know, from my perspective, you know what I'm saying? So I, I can imagine how these young people feel because I felt the same way. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, it had, I said, the only way I'm going to beat these niggas, I got to get in the game. And when I get in the game, they can't beat me. I swear to God, ain't them niggas got more game. I got more game motherfucking baby fingers. Them niggas got their whole body. So they know that. They know I'm coming. They see me. You know what I'm saying? They see the hip-hop attorney. They see me signing artists. They see me about to make my move because them niggas too stingy. They don't want to give up the game. They don't want to let nigga in. Um, my family, like I said, me and Pippa Ken, we, we always been working together and we always trying to figure out ways to do something to get great content, great interviews to our people. And Pippa Ken is family as well, so thank you so much, Pippa Ken. You've been a dope asset to Boss Talk 101 and we always gonna applaud you. Um, we also sit down with, uh, I wanna say Hustle Mom, I, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you, she was the livest one, man. She gave us so many dope stories, man. I don't have a dick. See, this is what everybody needs to know. A woman cannot, I repeat, cannot be a pimp. And I, I just, I had to say her name because she was in New Jersey as well. That was when we first met. We had talked before, but that's when we linked up, man. And it was just incredible. Um, then we brought it on back to the South, man. Shout out to Bun B, man. We went down to... We went down to uh, Shreveport. We linked up with Bon B. We talked about Trill Burgers. We talked about UGK. We talked about a lot of different things, that whole history. It was just, man, we had a great, great time. And I, I, I can't, I'll never forget the fact of how everything came together with us, man. We hung out. Uh, Bun B told stories about Jay-Z. And the whole time we was talking, he was writing to the song in his head. <laughs> That's and cold. he wrote a 16, but get throwed is 12s. The verses are 12s. So he had actually wrote a 16, and he was shooting at another rapper on that verse. Uh, the get throwed, uh, the good, the get throwed song was something else. Uh, he talked about how the preparation was for that song. He also shouted out Too Short. He also shouted out. Um, just all of the people that helped them, even big time records from even the very beginning. So, man, shout out to Bum B, man. You know I'm a dope UGK fan for life. I never, never stop rocking with you, your music, man, and just the movement. We was also able to give him an award. So we gave him an award, man, and I just, man, that was a, I just valued, valued that interview. It was big for me. Um, next. We did all type of things. We came, we, we went up to Chicago. We hung out with Larry Hoover Jr. We went up to Chicago. We killed the interview with Danny Boy. After my mother passed, or you know, even during the time of my mother being sick, Suge became my legal guardian. Okay, and okay. Mm -hmm. So almost everywhere, wherever Suge was. You went. You know what I mean? I'm there sure. today or I'll be there tomorrow. You know, we went to Larry Hoover Jr.'s uh, birthday party. He turned 50. So. We were up there and we had a, a, a splendid time, man. And I got to hang out with AK, with Do or Die. Man, R. Kelly was, <laughs> he was letting the song say what it was gonna say and then went behind it and said, I need you as the camera person to line it back up. A crucial conflict and all of the different, you know, uh, hey man, we hung out with a lot of people. Uh, shout out to Myra, uh, shout out to uh, my boy at 414, uh, this guy here, <laughs> man, uh, this guy was good, you know, to be honest with you, me and him had a great time, and just shout out to Myra's son as well, so we killed it, 
in Chicago. Chicago was live. Chicago was dope. I ain't going to lie. I had a great time, man. And like I said, there's been so many different interviews this year in 2023. I'm just giving you a, 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 a sum of what happened. I couldn't tell all of the things that happened to you because... I, man, from C4S. Hey, we got C4S in the building. The biggest yeah. shows. Y'all already know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Quit playing. Man, listen, man. I always enjoy when you guys come on on the, on the you know. She done got drunk. Who? That little thing right there. <laughs> she done got a little it's, drunk. She done got a little tipsy. Hey, to all of our regulars, Rainwater killed it. You see that man right there? Tupac. Mm -hmm. You see him? Yeah, young boy got you him. Had, you had... <laughs> You know, I, I heard the statement. I just I just cut the damn video off. Young boy got more plaster on. Rainwater came on the show as usual and gave these concepts, all these different things that was going on in his mind. Shout out Rainwater. Uh, half pint. And you got to understand, I was very proud of you when you got Yellow Beezy on there. You know me. I've been mm -hmm. asking about Yellow Beezy ever since I started Boss Talk. Ever mm -hmm. since you sit in that chair, it's been a Yellow Beezy conversation <laughs> between me and you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He don't really. I seen him the other night. We was out in the same little old round surrounding. We, you know, a few words, you know, talking and whatever. But at the end of the day, um, how did you manage to get him uh, on the show? You told me you wouldn't. He still can't get in the movie. You already said that movie yeah. thing is out the door. <laughs> you was mad as hell about Half Pipe Films. He he came on. Little Running Mother Elf. Little Running Mother Elf showed up every time and showed mad love. Hey, man, we love you, man. That boy. Man, I got Run number M. love for y'all. Little, little Run MF is in the building. In the building. Say, man, and I've been using that while the bosses <laughs> talk. Oh, I, I go hard with that. You know? I done seen a lot of bosses come talk with y'all, too. Say, man, it has been some crazy things happening, man. Mm -hmm. Like, we we probably went viral like five, six times mm -hmm. on some. Bro, I'll be on, going down. I'll be like, what the heck just happened? Say, I'll be watching so I don't know which ones I didn't watch. <laughs> I do know which ones I didn't watch, but <laughs> it be going on like crazy. Niggas be mad. It be a lot of them. And y'all don't even break it. <laughs> y'all ain't, it. It. ain't, ain't I, I'm just trying to, hey man, I'm just here. Shout out to Jenga Derricks. We added that uh, that selection as well in. So Jenga Derricks is one of the uh, new additives where we're bringing in the cooking side of basically the good cuisine that the Jamaican uh, 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 the really the entrees and the food that these guys are are giving us, man. And I'm getting a little fat messing around with uh, Jenga Derricks, man. But dope dude, man. Big shout out to Jenga Derricks. You guys need to look him up. Get some of that uh, uh, Caribbean cuisine. You know what I mean? Get you some of that flavored food, man. Those guys are spicing it up over there. Um, like I said, there's so many different people that we interviewed this year. Um, I just can't begin to go back and just reflect on all of them. I wish I could, but man, you guys are dope. Thanks everybody for coming on Boss Talk 101. Um, shout out to all the people who linked up with me. Uh, shout out to Trill Talk No Pill Talk. Shout out, shout out to Mama Scott. I went out and spoke at her function as well. Um, shout out to all of the people in Dallas. That, uh, Duro. Shout out to Duro. Duro Music. He comes on and he shows us mad love every time, man. Like top 10 on the Urban Choice at, at the time, and I was just like, damn, it's time for a remix. I hit Diddy. I, I hit him with a text message. I just text him. I was like, hey, bro, my record get big. Top 10 right now. We trying to put the remix together. I really want you on it. Man, he hit me right back. He was like, send it to me. Sent it to him. He heard it. He was like, I'm going to have it back to you tomorrow. And and he sent me back the ver No, first he told me, he said, I'm going to have it back to you tomorrow. Then the next day, he, he hit me. Shout out to LD300. Like, I could go on and on, and I want to give a big shout out to Bubba Dub. Bubba Dub, he's another one. Hey, Bubba, Bubba Dub, we're here with Boss Talk One on One. I'm talking about Boss Talk One on One. Boss of our bosses, some of y'all bosses, but y'all taking losses. We ain't taking no losses. Boss Talk One on One. Pull up when you see it drop on YouTube. Make sure you tune in, get your popcorn, get your soda, and it's going down. If y'all ain't watching Boss Talk One on One, y'all trash. Uh, showed us so much love. And, and, and I'm going to be real with you. I had a great time dealing with him. Uh, Bubba Dub has grown so much, man. And I'm just seeing him. He's going to blow up this year, coming forth in 2024. Watch what I tell you. Be on the lookout for Bubba Dub. Trash is a whole nother level. Um, also, man, big shout out to Face on Love. Face on Love always show Boss Talk 101. So much love, man. So we ended up giving him an award as well. Listen, man, this is my second award I'm giving out before the... 
end of the year like this one. We gave out a lot of awards this year. And 2023 has been good. And we're giving out, I believe, one more. This is this may be the last one unless something crazy happen, but we got one more award winner. It's crazy. It's here. I can't wait to see how it came. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all the things, little old pebbles and whatnot. Look out. Oh, okay. Man. Oh look. Bam! Face on love. Look at this, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. Face on love. You will be getting this award, man. I'm crazy, crazy, crazy about the way you put all that work in for so many years. I mean, you've been doing this since you were 15, man. Nobody deserved this more than Phase On. So I had to do it, man. He's been supporting our channel. Even when he, just when we didn't even have nobody coming to the channel, he came through and showed me love, man. Shout out to Phase On Love. You deserve this, man. My guy. Boss Talk 101. We did it again. Boss Talk 101. We'd love to present you with this. We had to do it. This amazing award. Um, it says, thank you, Phase On Love, in recognition of your many accolades in comedy and acting. Him and Bumby got the same Award, we just started giving these uh, awards out. It was dope, man. Before I get into your history and so forth, mm -hmm. you know, we can't start our podcast without doing this to you right now, okay? Okay. Like look at him, look yeah, at him. yeah. Okay. We yeah. have this right here. You said doing this to me. I thought y'all was <laughs> That's no, my something. wife and me, man. Oh, man. It was something we wanted to do, man, because we ain't never gave this award out to nobody. Oh, nobody wow. has one like this. Oh, God, no, man. So it came in. Boss. The unboxing is real, man. Boss. This it, baby. Boss. Yeah, it's going down, man. I never thought I'd be doing this. This guy mean a lot to me, man. And I couldn't go see him empty-handed. So I went on ordered him the new plaque that we're going to be giving out. He's right here different, man. I ain't never picked it up out of here. This thing, ooh, kind of heavy, man. Man, look at that thing. Man, Bum B, man. These guys mean so much to me, man. I, I rock with them, man. Boss Talk 101, man. It, it, this here, this, this is what everything that, that's why we do, do this, man. This guy right here. Man, Bernard Freeman, man. Check it, man. Congratulations. Best wishes, man. That boy, maybe don't boss talk, man. I'll let your boy, man. Boss talk with the boss talk. Bum B. 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 Bum B.
Say Cheese TV is dope. Um, also, Gutter TV, you gotta mention him, okay? Say the one without the other. Those guys are iron sharpening iron out there. So, all of these guys have came on the show and they've showed us so much love and we try to give that same love back. Um, my Houston guys, y'all already know. A uh, shout out to my boy AD in LA, man, for flying in, coming on Boss Talk 101, showing us so much love. AD, man, listen, man, that's my guy, uh, community. Fig Munity, go check them boys out. Them boys out there in L.A. killing the game. And I can't wait to rock out with them, man, again. I also want to say shout out to uh, my boy, uh, uh, Clint Payback Sands. Just a lot, man. I'm going back in. I'm getting in my bag. I'm steadily getting in my bag, trying to figure out who else. Who else came and showed us love? It was a bunch of them. If I didn't say your name, it's called, it ain't because I don't love you. Little Soldier Slim. Look, uh, Shawty Lowe Jr., like, it's crazy, man. It's a lot of love that come toward Boss Talk 101, man. From my boy Boz to GDP, all of these people, man. Kunta, like, man, we had crazy shows this year. And I ain't gonna lie to you, man, I thank God for everything he done for us, man. Boss Talk 101, man, has only been around for two years straight now. And we're, all, we're already up to 172,000 subscribers. We're already moving and grooving toward different uh, uh, an analogies, man. We also, one of the most sincere interviews that we done, I gotta go back into my bag, was ESG. ESG ended up getting hit by two cars. ESG ended up having his leg to be decapitated. He had to cut it off, amputated. Then they had to turn around, and uh, also he had was fighting cancer during the same time. So ESG, man, listen, let me just be real with you, man. This guy showed us so much love, man. He still continues to call us. He still continues to show us just so much respect and show us so much uh, just, hey, he even did a song. He throw Boss Talk 101 in that thing, man. ESG is my guy. I don't even play about him, man. Um, I definitely respect him and I cherish what he done. And, and it's just real, man. Thank God for ESG. And all the stuff that he went through, he still stayed true to Boss Talk 101. And we did that interview at the hospital. That's the first time I ever did one at the hospital. But he asked us to come down. And we came down there. We had a great, great time, man. It wasn't a good situation, but it became something great because we was able to be there with him. We was able to sit there with him and hang out with him. And it was just a blessing, man. And I got to say one more. I got to talk. George. George was a guy that called me, and at first I wasn't gonna do the interview, I knew it was gonna be a touchy situation. George was, I wanna say Steven's brother. Steven was the one who was pretty much, uh, he was gunned down at a club, allegedly they tried to say C-Murder done it, but George wanted, uh, wanted closure. George came on and spoke deeply about his brother and what he felt. I pretty much told him how I felt about what he felt about his brother uh, passing and about the legalities of it. And it was just a touchy situation. But all in all, George wanted to make sure that he basically, George wanted to make sure that he, nobody, he felt like he never was shown remorse for losing his brother. He was headed in for Kim Kardashian. She, it ended up on TMZ and it was just crazy. So, I just want to say, man, I hope George called. He definitely uh, went through some things, and, and then him and his mother and his father um, were able to get closure behind that interview. I'm not, I'm not going to go into much detail. If he wants you to know, he'll tell you, but that that interview uh, changed his life, uh, changed his life in a, in a big way. They was able to get closure to some things that they've been trying to get closure to for over 20, 20, for over 20 years, sorry. But um, also, a uh, big shout out to Reggie Wright, who's in L.A. I hung out with Reggie Wright, and Reggie Wright has thrown us some heck of a Hail Marys, and, and he supports the channel as well. There's just some dope people that support Boss Talk 101, but he's one of those guys that every time I talk with him, it lights up the show, man. Um, I told him Marv, I told him Marv is one of the guys that are always flying in, and and just love the show, OG Percy. Like, we got our people that come and do Boss Talk 101, man.
Man, I also, man, want to send a special shout out to, man, Mama Scott. Man, we love you. Boss Talk 101. Um, you dope. Keep on pushing fast ENT. Also, man, hey, my guy, Trill Talk No Peel Talk. Trill Talk No Peel Talk, man. You know what you do. You know how you come bring the pain when it come down to Boss Talk 101. Thank you. Happy 2024. It's going down, man. Big love. Keep on putting, hey, putting out everything you nigga need to understand what's going on in these streets. Another thing we want to do is uh, also, I want to shout out Anita Jawa. Anita Jawa killed it as well. Uh, she keeps coming and she keeps praying over Boss Talk 101. And my boy Corey, man, Corey Clout, man, keep going, man. All my East Texas people, man, stop playing, man. 2024, we're kicking in the door. It's going down one more time. Man, I'm this was something, man. When you think about it, you gotta, you gotta understand, man. Twisted Black had been locked up for 17 years, and he came home. And when they called me, I was ready. And we pretty much did a killer interview. And this guy, man, he did his thing, man. I can't even lie, man. He came home. He even put out a, a, a album, and it was a fresh album. And we did a recap on that album as well. When I say recap, we just, before it came out, we came and did our thing, man. Um, man, shout out to CC, man. CC, man, she, CC Reacts, she's doing her thing, man. Those guys, her, shout out to Black. They support Boss Talk 101, oh, man, uh, in a heck of a way. So we want to make sure that we point that out as well. Um, man, i I'll be real with you. There are so many, many different people that came on, man, from Gator Man to... All of these different people that came on and, and just showed us so much, so much love, man. From Solo Lucci to, there was this incredible movement, man, with all type of people that came on the show and just, man, killed the game for us, man. The DOC, DOC came on, man. Listen, man, that was a huge one for me. It's because I'm a big DOC fan. And me and, B, me and DOC talk, actually, and I'm trying to get him come back through because we got... More to talk about. And I was like, man, I got to get DOC back on the show because that was just so much stuff that we had to go back and get into. So I, I he has a history, him and Dr. Dre, him and uh, Yella, Ren, NWA, Suge Knight, all kind of stuff, man. You know, so much stuff is going on in 2023. I don't really know what's going to happen in 2024. But I can tell you right now, 2023, I, I was saying at the first of the year is what it's going to be. And we killed it. I can promise you that. It was not a game, man. Carl Crawford, shout out, man. The guy who supports us, man, who wears the gear, who always supporting what we doing. Shout out to his artists. He keep pushing, man. Carl Crawford, dope, man. I can't lie. He killed the game. This year, he continued to invest in artists and in music. So it's crazy, but it's going down for real, man. And, and I can promise you, we did people that you guys wouldn't even think of, man, from... We did Tay Money. Tay Money came through, killed the game with us. So there was just a lot of different, a litany of people that came through. Tay Money had a lot of energy, man. We're going to get up back to in 2024. Ain't going to be no games when it come down to her. And uh, shout out to Rapper Economics, too, man. DJ Nightcap, man. That boy at Prez, man. It's going down, man. All of y'all, man. You guys are, 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 are the ones that... Made it happen this year in 2023. Uh, goddess, Goddess, man, uh, your story put tears on a lot of people's eyes. And pretty much people just, they poured their hearts out when it came down to you. So I'm going to be real with you, man. What you went through and the things that you've done and have had to face, people can't make excuses. You helped a lot of people. You helped me this year to not make excuses. To be in the condition you're in and for you to keep pushing like you've been pushing is unbelievable. So shout out to Goddess, man. And I want to say shout out to a special shout out to Columbus Short as well. Um, thank you. that you. It was your third time on the show this year. Man, you've showed us so much love ever since we started. And you came and you pretty much killed the game when it come down to always being there for us and answering the phone when I pick, when I call, you know. Um, Propane, you're another one, man. Uh, shout out to Propane. Shout out to uh, uh, all of those guys. King Noah, all of those guys, man. Like I said, you guys you guys are the bomb, man. And I just want to say, man, thank you guys from 
everything that you guys done, man, from just basically rocking out with us. And, hey, thank you. Um, shout out to the radio people, too, in Dallas, the ones that rock with Boss Talk 101. Uh, Jay Cruz, we cruising. Vita Loca. Hey, man, thank you guys for rocking out with the uh, with the channel. You guys are radio people that that stop by, stop what you're doing, and come through and rock out with us, man. And I, I like I said, well, I don't even know where to stop. It's so many. Uh, Nina Loretta. Uh, I could go on and on. Uh, there's just a litany of people that have been on Boss Talk 101 and just killed the game. And Kenyatta, man, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us, motivating me. You haven't been talking to me lately, though. You need to pick that phone up and call me sometime. But we're going to get back on track, man. Your brother been picking up where you hadn't been talking. So it's love, man. But when we come to L.A., you always invite us in and show us the utmost respect and love, man. Um, shout out to Bobby Sessions as well. Thank you, guys, man. Um, there's just, like I said, I could keep naming them. I just want to come back and do a part two of the recap. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys join our membership. Thank you guys for being so, you know, dedicated to what we do here uh, at Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we on I Boss New Talk. Orleans say they're ready for me to come back down there. We're coming back to New Orleans in 2024. The Lord say the same. L.A., uh, we plan to be out there as well. We'll be out there for the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Um, there's so many different things that we'll be doing. Um, can't wait for you guys to see, man, where this thing heads from here. Um, I want to stop for a moment. We lost a true soldier this year, uh, Big D the Mogul, um, my guy. Uh, we talked the day before he died. He uh, ended up going to a, I ended up going to his funeral. It was a sudden death. No one expected it. I want to give a special shout out to his wife and to his children. Uh, they're very young. You can go on this page and see them. But they 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 would they they are, are, are they are they're incredible kids, and the mother is strong. She's hanging in there with everything she got. Um, guys, keep that family in your prayers because that was a big loss for them. He was 39. Um, I remember the day he passed away. He was supposed to be doing uh, his 100K plaque, uh, his 100K um, subscribers. Um, plaque celebration and he didn't get to do it but we, we definitely did it for me in my heart I know you know he did some things in this game that some guys still hadn't acquired hadn't been able to do so shout out to uh, his family R.I.P. Big D Mogul Media man I'm always remember you and thank you for everything that you showed me and we shared information and I just want to say thank you um, rest easy big guy um, thank you guys so much, man. Got caught up there for a second, but I'm back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting our channel, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk, we gonna have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. lit. It's a unique hustle.